Hi and welcome to Blue Sky Bonsai. I'm Dave and in this video I'm going to start making a small bonsai garden. Hope you enjoy it. That's where my small bonsai garden is going to go. So I need to do quite a bit of tidying before we can do anything. really likes that hedge because it flowers all summer every year. That's a fair point, but it does mean I need to be able to get behind the benches to prune the hedge once a year. The basic idea is to prepare and level the ground, then to fit a weed barrier mat so that the weeds don't grow up through the gravel. Then I'll put two bonsai benches and make sure they're absolutely level. And finally to add the gravel. So here are the measurements in centimetres, in case you're interested. Initially, the bonsai benches will only go up to the 410 mark, and the three metres over to the right will just be used for standing, developing trees on the ground in garden pots while the trees fatten up. Now, here are some doodles of how I envisage the bonsai garden should look. The two benches will be 180 centimetres long each, and that's just over 70 inches, and the gap between them will be 50 centimetres, which is about 20 inches. I'm going to use wooden planks on building blocks, which might look temporary, but I actually quite like that look. I want there to be two tiers of the benches, basically a lower tier for bigger trees and a higher tier for smaller trees. So there you have it, that's phase one with a slightly wider gravel margin. But then in phase two, probably next summer, the idea is to build a pergola over the benches. And the purpose of that is to be able to put over a semi-shade covering to protect the bonsai trees from direct sunlight and also to protect them from hailstorms. That's the first job just to dig that up then. Could be something interesting, so I'm going to pot it. Got a spade here. Give it a nice wide margin.
Got to be a bit more careful with this because I don't want to puncture any watering pipes, of course. Here in Madrid, you need watering if you want to have grass in your garden. Well, annoyingly, there is a bit of a leak down there, despite the PTFE tape that I put on. So I'm still going to have to seal it better. In case you're wondering, this is silicon, not glue. I wouldn't want to glue this down. The silicon can easily come off in the future if we need to take it off. But obviously the plastic that's used in this sort of plumbing is not actually watertight because it's only needed for gardens. And if this were anywhere else in my garden, I'd probably just leave it with a tiny leak. Because hey, a bit of water is fine, but I don't want that water to be trickling down the foundations of the house. So I'm gonna give it a good dose of this silicon. Make sure it's sealed. Okay, now the next thing, I need to finally check that this water distributor is totally closed off and sealed off, and it's not gonna leak next summer when I start watering again. look down here and the good news is no water at all it's sealed off that's excellent news right next job is to try and get it level now it doesn't have to be perfect but it should be fairly level so I've got this bit of metal it's just straight aluminium and the spirit level so let's just try how it is at the moment better than I thought actually if I move this this way a bit. Now it's pointing downhill that side. I need to move some of that soil over to there. Not much though, it's fairly flat already. looks pretty level. Now it would be perfectly possible just to put the gravel directly onto the garden soil. However, I don't want to spend the next 20 years weeding and I won't use weed killer right near the bonsai trees. So this type of weed mat is specifically designed to form a barrier and to stop all plant life from growing up from the garden soil beneath. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. See you in part two.